what is good what is good what is good bum here pretty much just to let y'all know that we have this feature called join on our youtube it works like twitch in the sense of like pretty much where you can sub but instead you're joining uh and i just want to go uh through the levels with y'all we have the 499 which is the hoc 999 which is the house of chaos 2499 which is the house of crack and then g sports with a 35 34.99 uh if you guys can please join the chaos it would mean so much and it will help us tremendously what we do here whether uh flying out players flying me out somewhere um buying new equipment or just doing crazy events thank you so much for the support for all these years and just believing in what i do believing in the hlc it means a lot and take care oh man what is good what is good what is good everybody bum here um so pretty much i wanted to talk about something that is really important to me and i feel like this happens way too often and something that i feel not saying that obviously it has to stop because everybody's different but i just feel like people in general just need more confidence in themselves and this is why i'm coming up with this video it is literally 6 44 a.m and this was just been on my mind pretty much so i wanted to talk about pretty much how people doubt themselves and this is a perfect example right here as you guys can see so uh blues wrote i'm way too trash to enter but i'll definitely be watching and i go why is this line used so much y'all worry about losing so much are y'all that scared of failure and you know i this is something that i i, I receive from many people i get uh, tons of messages a day whether it's on facebook or twitter and you know this is something that's really important to me because i see this so many times it's actually really crazy then daniel goes facts blues goes that's actually a big problem of mine for sure and then i ask him what worries you he goes i recognize pretty recently that i have a big problem with fearing failure outside of just games too harder to get over it even though i realized this i told him you won't ever achieve anything if you let fear take over i appreciate the honesty a lot of people can't even admit to something like this um this is super important to me because this is coming from somebody that lack confidence in themselves as well and if it wasn't for the people that support me throughout the years and years uh if this wasn't for the people in my stream that supported me for years and years especially my day ones i would not even be in this position uh i lacked a lot of confidence when i first started uh as i was going about this whole streaming youtube thing and stuff like that i lacked the confidence i didn't believe in myself I really didn't believe myself. I didn't think that I was able to achieve what I achieved as of recent. And it's really thanks to a lot of you guys. But the thing is, is that there's so many people that don't believe in themselves. And the thing is, how can you achieve anything if you're so scared to try? To me, you know what's worse than losing? Not trying. Seriously, not trying. Because you don't know what you can achieve when i first started tournaments in melee um shout out to my boy jo yeah who got me into tournaments and the whole thing uh he was like yo bum you gotta go to tournaments you gotta try yo you be whipping our ass and all this other stuff you got good stuff and and i want to introduce you to a bunch of people so he took me to wes's house and when i went to wes's house i actually was beating the, everybody in the house including wes and uh but Wes was using Falco. He wasn't using his real character. And I guess they, you know, they were testing and all this other stuff. I was scared for my first tournament. I am a broke ass, a young ass teenager that felt like I didn't have anything going for myself. Uh, and this was at this place called, uh, it was some card shop in Manhattan. And took me there and i met a whole bunch of people and I, I mean i was nervous i was so nervous uh there was people like dire kubu ron like you know wes dave papa dave um i think d1 was there i think dj nintendo was there i think alucard was there a couple of people were there for sure and i was just so nervous and 
literally I got third place in my first tournament and it was like a 50 60 man bracket it was a lot of people and I just was so scared I was like oh my gosh like I can't I, I don't know what to do and me beating these people and then losing to Dave made me want to go out there and prove myself made me want to keep doing things to ignite fire not only within me but my people that was also with me and then obviously as time went on um my confidence grew but the problem was to be honest with you was my trust levels my trust levels i always have big trust issues to be honest and i mean you guys seen it throughout the years of me not letting people near my computer not people not letting people commentate and stuff like that and i opened up a lot and uh you know it's just huge thanks to a whole bunch of you guys helping me overcome that seriously i still have trust issues for sure no doubt about it but it's way less than what it was before the thing is you guys need to push yourself see where you're at don't be scared i mean if people are gonna make fun of you they're gonna do it anyway but you know what use that to fuel your hunger to wanting to get better to wanting to prove not only them but more so yourself you guys have to realize that nothing is going to get accomplished if you don't try at all seriously you guys need to try and see where is it that you at from there you study the game you figure out what is it that you need to do how can you overcome the obstacles that are blocking your entrance blocking your way from improving yourself the route is not going to be easy it's not i'm telling you this right now this is somebody that's been doing this for a long time both well i stopped entering tournaments for a while but you know both the tournament scene and the streaming scene because if you guys remember my streams used to be trash my quality used to be trash and now you guys can see that i, I learned a lot i still not no computer nerd and stuff like that but i try to learn as much as i can it's very important and and if it doesn't try then i i i, I mean if it doesn't work then i try again and i try again and i try again until i can get something going these guys come here they know it's not it's not a perfect condition in this hoc but i always try to improve the quality so these guys when they do come here they're comfortable they're able to you know interact with each other and there's no crazy problems going on and everybody's cool and everybody's having a good time um you know those were some of my goals that i wanted to accomplish and for you guys that want to enter these tournaments you have to try literally there's different multiple online tournaments going on right now team spooky who host who's gonna host today thursday he hosts every thursday i mean it is absolutely free to enter these tournaments but there is a cap of 96 people but go check that out it's free there's nothing to lose but everything to gain entering that tournament and mind you there's there's people that support it uh with the match arena so shout out to spooky for doing that then on friday uh oh Spook, spooky's also on the east coast along with me i'm in new york city and then on Fridays, it's Cloud805 who hosts for the West Coast. Um, I'm not too sure if it's free or not, but either way, you guys, are if you're on the West Coast, you need to definitely check that out and show that man some love. You know what I'm saying? Because we're trying to keep the DBZ, uh, DBFZ community alive as, as much as possible. Go check out his tournament. Whether it, it, It'd probably be 5-5. Five, five. If not, then it's free. And then he also gets, he has the match arena and stuff like that. And on Saturdays is my tournament, which is five and five. You know, is 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 not breaking anybody's pockets. And then there's a lot of competition that joins as well. We usually we we went from 40 people to 50, and now the last two weeks was 60 people. And it's just continuing, you know, continuing to grow. And the thing is, is that literally that's how you should be, constantly growing. It's not gonna come right away. Some, for some people, it takes a long time, and others, it comes fast. But do it at your level. Don't worry about how somebody else is growing. Worry about you growing. That's the most important thing. There's players like Neo, um, OFA Neo, who surprised me with how, how good he has gotten with the hit uh, Goku Black team that he has. Explicit is another one. I mean, you guys don't really know who that is, but these are people from the HOC who has grown tremendously 40 thing nitro bros 
I mean, these guys have gotten so much better. Coach Steve is no stranger to getting better. I mean, this guy is, is phenomenal in what he does. He plays every game at a really good level. Alucard, I remember when Alucard was first getting into the game, this, this guy is just fucking nuts in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like the players are just constantly growing. And guess what? They're growing because they were not scared to try. And if they lost, you know what they did? They sat their ass back in the seats. Yo, come on, let's get some more games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about my people is that they don't, they don't give up. They keep trying every week, every day. They are pushing themselves to become a better person, a better player. All right, and it's super important. I just want you guys to be able to do the same. Don't be scared, and you guys can hit me up. I promise you, I do reply. It sometimes it's, it's, it's just really overwhelming. It depends on the type of tweet I put or what's going on or, you know, things like that. But I try to reply to everybody. And whenever I do get a follow, I hit the people up, and I'm like, please, please, you know, respond. And, and if you got any questions, you guys can hit me up and stuff like that. I'm always literally, you know, trying my best to help with the community. I, 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 I you know, I'm, I don't sleep too much. It, de it depends on what I'm going through, whether, you know, I'm trying to exercise. I haven't even been consistent with that, but I'm trying my best. Um, probably going to exercise a little bit after this. Um, but I, I just want to see people just have more confidence in themselves. It's so important, man, because it not only does it affect you within the game, it affects you outside the game, just like what this person said. And I kind of already, I did my library stuff. I did my library stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to, I wanted to really, really just put this out there. Because this was in the public. There's other people that hit me up, you know, obviously with the DM, PM, message, whatever the case. And tell me like, yo, I'm just too scared to answer and and all this other stuff and i'm always telling them don't be scared and then they'll hit me up they'll be like i'll enter one day and i'm like they're never gonna enter because they just too afraid to try do not be afraid i promise you there's gonna be more supportive people than people make fun of you and even if nobody makes fun of you right because that might not even be a thing right there's gonna be people that's going to want to help you if you go out there and put yourself out there and like, hey, what should I learn? What can I do better? And stuff like that. There's so many people that are willing to help. I'm not the most experienced player, but I am experienced with fighting games in general. I can help out with that. Coach Steve can help you out with that. No commies constantly putting out content to help people out. So is Lord Knight. So is uh, Clout805. So is Alucard. I mean, you got all these players. I think Raph, too. I'm not too sure. But I think he puts things out there. JM Crofts, Dota Doya, Lotus. I mean, there's so much content <laughs> that you can learn from uh, when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters. It's actually really amazing. I mean, the community is just immense. It's huge. It's crazy. It's chaotic. It's it's just it's it's just crazy. Seriously, and you guys. Are missing out on all the fun stuff man and this is why I just want more people to to get involved with what we do because you never know if you can be that person to come up with the next big thing for DBFZ you never know if you can bring out a character that was whack and now you're doing some great things and you put that character up two tiers because you did it you understand what I'm saying you never know man you never know you just have to be able to try and that's what we ask of you okay that's literally what we ask of you to try and just do your best you know i'm saying we all let me tell you something a tournament is only one winner it's only one winner everybody else is a loser everybody else is a loser but guess what at the end of the day we all win because we all participated and we all tried our best and it's also next week Guess what's after next week? The week after that. What about the week after that? You can try again. Guess what's next month? You can try there too. That's the beauty of locals. Which you guys support your locals. Very important. Uh, a super huge uh, thing that we're missing out on right now is majors. Which I, I freaking miss majors. Oh my goodness. I miss some majors, man. <sighs> majors, majors, majors. I mean, damn. I miss me some majors. You know what I'm saying? But these things, seriously, seriously, 
Um, it's just super important to me, and I'm hoping that it's super important to you as well. So where you want to improve on yourself, and you improving on yourself, you never know. That can rub off onto somebody that they see you getting better, and they're like, I want to join in too. And that's how we grow. Seriously, that's how, that's how growth happens. And it becomes a thing that it rubs off on people and is, is a good thing, right? Like, that's something that we want to rub onto others and let them see that and, and, and get involved and, and do better. And you never know if you be the next big thing, the next big streamer, the next whatever the case may be. And even if not, at least you're trying and you're doing your best. And that's like, that's all we ask, man. Seriously. Um, I seriously thank everybody, everybody for supporting the HOC. Um, the DBFZ community as a whole, uh, you guys are just like very important, super cool. Uh, you know, season two to me wasn't the best. It was boring. Fuck that. It was boring. That joint was boring. <laughs> I told the kill says this, and he was like, "You're not. You're not wrong." <laughs> I was like, "Cause the thing is, it's just you know the top tiers and all this stuff." But this is why season three allows you to express yourself allows you to pick more team organizations you're able to organize different characters that weren't able to be together but now that's a thing because we have three assists i know some people like super noon don't like the way snap works i think snap could have been handled differently but i i prefer it to be nerfed than to be the way it was before um you know limit break i'm not a fan of limit break to be honest i felt the, my whole thing is, is that uh, and I'm going to get into this with another video, is that offense needs to be a little bit more than defense. There's so many defensive tools in the game, but we'll get into that in another video. I promise you. Like I said, I'm going to be way more active with YouTube and stuff like that. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, this can grow as well. And man, oh, man, I, I just want to see what you guys can come up with. Enter. Whatever, whatever day that you're available, enter the tournaments. Once again, Spookies on Thursdays, which is going to be today. Cloud 805 tomorrow, Friday. And then Saturdays is my tournament as well. Um, I'm going to leave the link of, of, I think, Spookies, Cloud, and mine down below. So you guys can check it out. I really just want the scene to grow. Uh, this just reminds me of the Marvel days where people just kept coming in and we keep seeing new plays and we keep seeing new teams and stuff like that. And it's a beautiful thing. And you guys can be a part of that. I know I'm ranting on some crazy shit right now. I'm just, I, I was just super hype. I woke up, like I said, now it's seven o'clock in the morning and now I, I just was feeling the surge to just talk this one out and, and let y'all know how I feel and, and you know, things that I, I would love to see happen possibly from more people you know just don't be scared just try your best and you know see what happens thank you so much for everybody tuning in to the hoc streams and the youtube and stuff like that um please subscribe to the stream leave a thumbs up because that helps it gets noticed leave a comment below there's also a join feature okay there's a there's a join button right underneath the video player if you guys can click on that and join the chaos it would be greatly appreciated there is different levels there's the 499 the 10 the 25 and the 35 these help me to get emos these also help me you know funding the hoc helps me to do more things uh you know what i'm saying like well the eight the, the cameras already done the fans are already done the ac and stuff like that but for the future uh with you guys supporting and joining the chaos on youtube uh, i can fly people out i can fly myself somewhere you know what i'm saying do some crazy events and stuff like that so please join the chaos if possible on youtube it would be greatly appreciated and thank you so much guys i appreciate y'all have a good day and uh see y'all soon